Hi, my name is James Scullard, and I'm sometimes asked, what's involved in a professional expert valuation? Welcome to Clifton's. I've been valuing property for well over two decades, and um, there is, a, and I basically train, teach, and coach on this subject. And there is a, an art form to valuing someone's home. And obviously, I, I, I'm always privileged when I'm asked to go and value someone's home. It is a big responsibility. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly what's involved. So there are four methods to value a property and estate agents use methods, uh, method two, which involves uh, looking at comparable properties and looking at buyer demand essentially. But in the valuation, there is a five step process. <clears throat> so the first step is condition. So on evaluation, we're looking at condition. We'll start, obviously, um, it's important for every estate agent to have some sort of uh, background or uh, some experience or knowledge of condition of property, construction of property and condition. So for me personally, um, I've actually developed, uh, I've, I've done conversions, refurbishments, new builds. I um, also did a diploma in surveying, although I didn't finish the course at the College of Estate Management. Um, but essentially having some background knowledge is, uh, is definitely a must. So before entering a property, I always look on the outside, take a deep breath and start from the very top. So I look at uh, the chimney, uh, whether there's, uh, so, so it's important to note, there's only three types of damp, penetrating damp, uh, condensation, rising damp, actually there's four, and you sometimes have a, like a burst pipe, so which could, could cause, but essentially there's only three types. Uh, the chimney is like a, an area, especially around where the flashing is, etc., where, um, so that could be possible signs. So I look at the position of the chimney on the outside, and, um, and obviously look on the inside as well. Working down the, down the property, looking at the roof, <clears throat> a lot of the Victorian houses, the old slate roofs, uh, sometimes come to the end of their natural lives, and that needs to be taken into consideration um, in terms of the value and a possible liability for, uh, for a buyer. Now, here's the thing. As an estate agent, I know that a surveyor will be coming in after me. So this is a fundamental aspect in terms of selling somebody's home. Um, I'll work down the, down the walls to the floor um, and looking at the ground area. And that, that condition process continues on the inside as well. So we look at cracks, um, the electrics I look at, um, all sorts of things. So that's, so that's that side. So number one is condition. Number two is position. Now, um, on the tele programs, they talk about location, 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 and that. Uh, but I, I talk about position because I do. Position forms part of location, uh, or location forms part of position, I should say. Um, but position is really important in terms of uh, how the how, how the property is positioned in terms of. Um, uh, like for example a south facing garden or east facing garden um, I look at whether there's a school at the end of the road which is a big plus for a lot of buyers but a real negative for other buyers so um, and obviously location uh, comes into the position there the next is collision so the third thing on evaluation is I call collision um, and this is really the impact of uh, a property. So um, uh, the impact uh, towards uh, when you first meet uh, or, or first uh, see a property. So curb appeal, number one, is a big uh, sort of impact uh, aspect. Um, the hallway is really under underutilized. Um, it's one of the most important rooms in a house. So if you imagine uh, when you view a property, you'll go into the lounge, into the hallway, into the dining room, into the hallway, into the kitchen, into the hallway, upstairs, back in the hallway. So the hallway you actually view around six or seven times sometimes. So with impact, um, it's such an important area. So. Uh, the uh, the collision or the impact um, is is what really sells a property and this is very well known in the industry so if you look at developers or um, uh, builders 
They'll always create a show home or a show flat. They don't do that for fun. They do that because it, they know it sells property and they get the very best price. So I'm not saying try and make your property like a show home, but certainly in terms of decluttering um, and looking at each individual room and um, really looking at, is that the very best that room can look like when you first enter it? So that's a really good top tip. The fourth thing is obligational. So that is the legal issues. Um, so I look at the tenure. The tenure is whether it's freehold or leasehold or share of freehold. And if you're not sure about leasehold, definitely watch one of my other videos, uh, Leasehold Explained. So here's the thing. As an estate agent, I know that once I sell your home, it's gonna go in the hands of solicitors. And they're gonna obviously be looking at the title plan, uh, whether there's any boundary issues, disputes, strains, um, things like that. So we look at the legal side of uh, that side. We also look at, um, for example, EPC is now a legal requirement. Um, I'll also do a risk assessment, and this has become more and more important uh, of late. Um, I'll make sure that the property is safe for not only my team, but also uh, prospective viewers that are going around as well. It goes through into anti-money laundering, um, identity, uh, who's involved, who's uh, the actual ownership. So there's all sorts of legal aspects involved in a professional valuation. And the last thing, the fifth thing, is client affiliation. So. Uh, we look at, um, we obviously discuss the market, we discuss the service that we can offer and our fees and also the valuation itself, how we've arrived at the valuation and, um, and, and selling advice. So that's it. Thank you so much for listening. Um, if you do want a valuation, please fill out your details uh, on our website and uh, either myself or one of my team will pop out and come and see you. Thanks again. Have a great day. See you soon. As a local business, we deal exclusively with properties based in and around the gorgeous seaside town of Bournemouth. So what are you waiting for? For the latest and greatest Bournemouth area properties, take a look at our website, give us a call, or simply pop into our branches to get more information on how we can help you today.